In this video, we'll explore the possibilities of VSTs in Resolume. VSTs are audio effects that you can use in Resolume to expand its sonic possibilities. The VST format is widely used in the music production, so you'll be able to acquire effects from many different third parties. Note that Resolume supports VST effects, but not VST instruments. First, we'll download a VST. For this tutorial, I will use Crush from Treetic. This is a free plugin, so make sure to check it out. You'll find a link to the VST in the video description. Here you will also find a link to the Valhalla Echo used in the introduction of this video. After you have downloaded and installed the plugin, it's time to open up Resolume. To use the VST, you need to create a VST folder in Resolume. Go to Preferences, select the Audio tab, at the bottom click on the plus. Now select the folder in which you have installed the plugin. You can have multiple VST folders if you need it. Restart Resolume to apply the changes. For this example, I have imported clips from our Creature Feature Pack and added some music on top. I will create a dashboard knob that degrades both audio and video at the same time. Now to add the Crush effect. Go to the Effects tab, select Audio Effects, find Crush and add it to the composition. I'm adding effects to the composition instead of the layer or clip because I want to be able to degrade the entire output of my composition. Since the VST has a lot of parameters, it quickly becomes a mess in the composition panel. The VST is better edited in its own interface. Click on the cogwheel next to the bypass button to open up the interface. Instead of creating my own settings, I'll use a preset. I like the bit crush piece. Now onto the dashboard. First, we'll link the drive, crush and down sample parameters to the dashboard by clicking the cogwheel and selecting dashboard. I will also set the ranges for the parameter. With the audio done, it's time to add visual destruction. For this, I'll use a combination of the low res and shift glitch effects. The workflow is exactly the same, add them to the composition and link the parameters to the dashboard. And here we have the final result. The crush knob absolutely decimates the composition. I 
hope you found this video helpful and I'm curious what audio and video effect combinations you are using. Maybe some audio delay and video feedback or pitch shifting with RGB shifting? Let us know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.